Hey folks, Michael McGee here. The other day you watched us make feed with this feed grinder. It's a hammer mill mixer. It was stove up to the point of when we engaged the auger to unload feed, the gearbox busted. So we've got a feeder that don't offload. We had to just scoop it out. And we, there are some big rust holes in the side down to the bottom. We just took off the patches and let it fall out. And that's how we got our feed out. And a portion of it had some big rusty chunks in it that I didn't want to feed the cow. So I actually gave it to the chickens just to be on the safe side there. So we didn't get as much feed out of that grind as we need, was wanting to anyway. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to take off. I'm not gonna be putting money in this machine, folks. We're gonna take off things that are unnecessary, things that are stove up, gearboxes that are broke, and chutes that we don't need. And we're gonna to try to make this thing simple, usable. We can grind our own feed with because I've been online looking, hammer mills are not cheap, even small ones. And this is not a small one. We can make some pretty good sized batches of feed with this thing. And we can even mix in hay, corn shucks, just whatever we wanna put in there and it'll grind it up. That's, well, that's worth a lot. So. We're gonna work on this thing, see what we can do, and show you the results. All right, the boys are going to try to patch the holes that are leaking out the front and the side, and we're going to get this slide door going better. And we're going to grind some corn right quick and see how this works. All right, we stopped and ate lunch. The boys went ahead and patched the bottom where it was rusted out. While I went to the feed store, I got some more steak maker. They say that makes the best marbling. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. While this was down, I went ahead and grabbed some cracked corn. I've been feeding that to the steer and the bull down there, and I noticed something that was not good. It's coarse cracked, and a lot of it, not all of it, but some of it's coming through when he uses the bathroom, not digested. So that's one reason I really like using this one. Grind it fine, make my corn powder, feed that to them. They're going to digest it. So I'm going to go ahead, not only grind the corn that we have in our trailer over here, but I'm going to go ahead and run the crack corn through too 
and try to save it to where they digest it better. And I've got some range cubes. They have a lot of fiber in them. That's gonna be good. Get that fiber in them. I'm excited, let's do it. Now we're going to take some leftover wheat we had left over from the planting time in the fall. We're going to grind it up right quick for the chicken.
turn it off and see what we got. What you heard right there is the hammers. They kind of, they hang in there loose and when they stop spinning, they just sort of do that. But we got us a nice pile of beef feed, high protein, and we got several bags of ground wheat for the chickens. And you might say, chickens can eat wheat without grinding it. Yes, they can. But we like to soak it, mix it with milk. Good old homegrown milk. And that makes something that'll help them keep laying. And they love it. A chicken would much rather eat something moist, wet, and messy rather than to eat just wheat kernels. So that's the way we roll. And of course, there's a little bit of corn mixed in it where some was still in the bottom there. So that'll be some good chicken feed, good beef feed, hopefully better digestible than the coarse ground cracked corn. And so we're very excited. So now we've got a stripped down version of the hammer mill. No augers. All we've got for augers is what's putting it in there into the mixer and then the auger that mixes. That's it. So very simplistic. Everything is stripped off of it. Some people think I'm crazy, but it's a whole lot better than scrapping it for 20 bucks and then going and buying a five, $600 small little hammer mill when we've got this already. So that's how we're gonna roll. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.